so much can happen in a matter of weeks. So our last video left off back in January when we broke ground on the casitas and the boys have been hard at work ever since. After the ground for the casitas was excavated, we ordered thousands of cinder blocks and pounds and pounds of sand and the guys got right to it. They started by sifting the sand to get a really fine consistency to make the mortar mix with. Then they made footers for the house with rebar and started building up the walls with cinder blocks. These blue pipes are hollow plastic encasings to run the wires through for our electricity. We also set up a really cool time-lapse camera to capture the building progress. Then we blocked the view with this big black holding tank. Okay, that's better. a casita update. All the walls are up. And the windows. So this is the front of the casita. This part right here will be a, a small porch and then on the other side will be a larger porch where we can put a table. And in here is the living room and eventually the kitchen. So kitchen will go along this back wall here, and here is the bedroom. Bed will go here. This will be sliding French doors opening out to the deck with a view of the ocean, of course. Window, and then the bathroom here. This is the shower. And this is going to be the vanity and sink and into the kitchen. A las siete. Siete, amigo. Perfecto. Bueno. Feliz tarde. Mm -hmm. Gracias, gracias. Cuidado al bajar aquí. Sí. No queremos que se la... In other news, we've been house-sitting for some friends in town for the last few weeks. Their yard backs up to the river that flows into the ocean. So it's been fun being just a block away from the beach and we've been enjoying observing the tropical animal life down here. Well, for the most part. Just sitting here trying to enjoy a peaceful morning. These birds have got to be the ugliest sounding creatures in El Salvador. And they are just relentless. Oh my god. If that sound doesn't drive you crazy, I don't know what will. Me, me, my, mo, mo. My, me, me, mo, my. Alright, so the mama bird. Oh, it's so hard to see on the camera, but she is right above to the left of that last light bulb. You see that little head and beak sticking out? Oh my god, so cute. So they've been, the two woodpeckers have been monitoring this hole in the tree every day. They come and they look at it, they look around, they look in it, they go in, they get out. I think she's laying eggs or has babies or is getting ready to have babies in there. <laughs> they check in the woodpecker hole. See if there's any babies. Woodpecker hole. Woodpecker in the hole. Are the peckers watching you? Yeah, they're up in that tree. They're not happy about what you're doing right yeah, now. They're seeing right in the ever loving spot. They're not happy. It goes down in there. It's big and deep. I can't really see in. It just keeps getting better. So now we have what I believe to be the turquoise browed motmot -mot has landed in the mango tree. He is hiding a little bit. 
goodness see if I can get a better angle for you. Beautiful bird. It's the national bird of El Salvador. He has a turquoise head, a long tail. Oh my god, it's him. It's him. I can see his tail. <laughs> he has a long tail coat, uh, tail, and he removes some of the feathers from the middle part of his tail. So it's real funky looking, but it's, oh my god, he's beautiful. So we previously understood there to be two woodpeckers that resided in this tree and monitored the hole. But just now I saw two peckers come and fly and land on the tree and one tried to go inside the hole and this little guy popped his head out and said, no, I'm in here and they flew away. So that's three. Things are getting out of control. It's a triple pecker mania. Stay tuned as I continue to monitor and report on this developing story. Miss, what is this? White spider. Oof. He's going to the shade. Oh, there he is. Oh, now he's making himself appear smaller, but he's actually quite large. <laughs> He's best. He's right there. It's a baby scorpion. Look at him go. I was literally just telling Nick that I don't know that I'm cut out for life in the tropics. The bugs are really getting to me. And then I come over here. What the fuck? Oh. Oh, like, is he missing a leg? Oh, I don't know what it is. Oh, God. Alright, Chris has the little guy. Eyes are still closed. food. Okay, so we've put the possum in this used ice cream container with some washcloths and holes for air. And we're going to see if we can get some formula to feed it. Well, this little guy is still hanging on. We're just sleeping. Hopefully he pulls through. What are you feeding him? That's the closest thing I could find till now. I need what to is find it? a goat, baby formula? A goats. It's a go dried goat's milk that they feed puppies and small animals with. Mm. Goat's milk is the best for, for these guys. What do you have? Oh, it's a little hand. Oh, alien baby. This lizard. Very well camouflaged. There we go. Okay, today is Friday, March 29th, and we're going to do a little tour of the updates on the property. Come on, Puma. Let's go. Hi, Puma. So first, we're going to do an update of the outdoor bathroom, shower, laundry room situation. It's nearly done. We obviously still need a door here, but look at the tile work in here beautiful uh stone tiles on the floor and a little accent tile in the shower we have the stone wall here awesome view from the shower we've got a rock wall on this side we're still waiting for our lights to go in above the mirror, but we do have one light here. And the laundry room slash storage area. We've got a, our washer and dryer hooked up and working, which is very exciting. And we have a Pumacita here. Hi, baby. You're so cute. We are still in dry season, so everything's a little dusty and brown, but the Conacaste has filled back out again 
absolutely beautiful. Provides some good shade up here. So it's Semana Santa here in El Salvador. It's the Holy Week leading up to Easter Sunday. So most people are off work. Everyone is out on the beach with their families and friends. It's a bit crazy down here right now, very busy, but absolutely beautiful time of year. And the weather has been really awesome. And for a sneak peek at the pregnancy update, you can see my bump here in this <laughs> shadow silhouette. Little babies do early July. Started kicking and moving around a lot, which is really exciting. And Puma also received a promotion. She went from the assistant to the assistant construction manager to the senior assistant manager. And she's been doing a great job making sure things are moving along according to plan. Safety protocols are followed and snacks and pets are given. And for any inquiring minds who might have wa watched our last episode, where I briefly mentioned a leak on the RV roof, that is almost done being repaired. Boys did some patching and coating and other stuff I don't know up here on the roof, and they're about to put the AC back in. Other than property updates, life in El Salvador continues to be good. I'm still teaching yoga right here on the beach, although my practice does look a bit different these days due to little baby joining along. I'm still trying to stay active, even if it's just a walk on the beach. And I'm still enjoying laying with Puma on this dirty blanket and watching the sunset. Being on the property is always an invitation into more stillness, more wonder, and more simplicity. There's something about being up here, away from it all, just listening to the birds that brings a sense of peace and serenity. Even if you aren't on the side of a mountain overlooking the ocean, I hope you find a way to tap into that peace, even just for a moment.